Hey guys, it's me Kiana and welcome back to my channel. I have decided randomly a couple days ago to redo my entire bookshelves and because of that I have decided to get rid of a couple books. I have five books here and there's another series I am debating on giving up. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. The first book I plan on getting rid of is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rutfuss. This is the first book and I want to say it is a trilogy. This is the mass market paperback and it is seven hundred and twenty two pages. I bought this because of the hype, but personally, I do not even see myself ever reading this. I don't even know what this is about. Like I can't even tell you what this is about because that is why I bought it. I bought it for the hype because of the hype and I just I don't plan on reading it and if I can't find no one to sell this to then it is going to either get donated to my library or my local Goodwill. The second book I plan on getting rid of is Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Noel. I bought this because usually me and my oldest sister Yvonne we always challenge each other to read books like I'll recommend a book to her she'll recommend a book to me and vice versa she gets to read young adult I get to read adult and she had told me she was reading this book and she told me I should pick it up to read it as well but I've never really gotten to it. I don't feel like I will ever get to it so bye bye. I don't even know what it's about like I literally just bought it because my sister told me to buy it. That is horrible. The third book I plan on getting rid of is Fame, Fates, and the First Kiss by Casey West. This I bought because I absolutely love Casey West and I had found out that she was coming out with a new book and usually I have a really, really good relationship with Casey West. This follows a girl named Lacey Barnes and she's 16 years old and her dream of becoming an actress has finally come true. She has the lead female role in a zombie movie, but then they start messing, like things start going wrong on set. People are taking like her knee pad she needs for a certain scene, the quill that she needs for another, like a chunk of her zombie mask that she needs. And that's just part of it. The other part is her father really doesn't want her to be an actress. He wants her to focus more on school. So he ends up hiring what she calls a goody goody nerd to basically help her with her math and her homework to make sure that she does good with it. But she ends up liking him. I liked the first half. I didn't like the how quick she was to end it and who she picked as a person who was messing with Lacey's stuff. I rated this a 3 out of 5 stars and I was I enjoyed it but there was a lot of shit that I hated. Do I feel like I'm ever going to read this again? No. So bye Casey West. The fourth book I plan on getting rid of is The Becoming of Noah Shaw which is book one in the Noah Shaw trilogy. I think it's a trilogy. I read the Modern Diary trilogy last year i loved the first and second book and i absolutely hated the third book i had won this in a giveaway from uh heather over at bookables about two years ago and when i had won it i had just read the first book so it had like pushed me more to read the second and the third one but do i ever feel like i am going to pick this up no i loved noah in the mara Dyer trilogy but i just i don't think i am ever gonna read this and it's just taking up space on my bookshelf so adios and then the fifth and final book i am getting rid of i did read it i enjoyed it but do i feel like i'm going to ever read it again not really and that is one day in december by josie silver this was actually my first ever book of the month pick that i picked out for december and we follow two different people we follow Lori and jack Lori and Jack met at a bus station in 2008 and they locked eyes for a moment and you know she was gonna get off the bus to go get him but the bus took off and she basically like was in love with this guy that she never knew but met once at a bus station then two years later her best friend is her best friend and roommate is now dating Jack Jack says he doesn't remember her but he does we follow both points of view as they go on throughout the years I absolutely love this when I did read it it is a good book but do I feel like I'm ever going to read it again? No. And that's really how I feel about all of these. But those are the five books I am going to unhaul. I am debating whether or not I am going to get rid of the Lunar Chronicles series. I absolutely did love it, but do I feel like I'm going to ever reread it? I do not know, but that is all for today's video. I believe in here two videos. I just feel you guys should go check out. I post Mondays and Thursdays, and I will be seeing you guys really, really soon with a new video. Bye, guys.